Imagine this, you're going about your day, the sky above is clear and blue, when suddenly a blinding flash lights up the horizon. Within seconds, everything around you is torn apart by an explosion more powerful than anything you could ever imagine. The air fills with smoke, the sound of collapsing buildings, and the terrified cries of people desperately trying to survive. This is the beginning of a nuclear catastrophe, a moment that would forever change the course of human history. What would that day look like? What comes after? And most importantly, how can we ensure this nightmare never becomes reality? Let's dive in and uncover the truth behind nuclear war. If you want to dive deeper into the realities of nuclear war, its consequences, and what we can do to prevent it, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. By doing so, you'll join a growing community dedicated to exploring one of the most pressing issues of our time. From gripping stories about nuclear history to practical tips for survival, we cover it all. Let's continue the story. The day a nuclear bomb is detonated will begin like any other, with people going about their lives unaware of the impending catastrophe. Then, in an instant, the sky ignites with a blinding flash, brighter than the sun, followed by an overwhelming wave of heat and force. Buildings crumble, glass shatters, and fire erupts, consuming everything in its path. A deafening roar blankets the area, drowning out the screams of those caught in the blast. Moments later, a colossal mushroom cloud rises ominously above the destruction, its shadow stretching for miles. As survivors emerge from the chaos, a toxic rain of ash and radioactive particles begins to fall, poisoning the air and land. The day is transformed into an unrecognizable nightmare, marking the beginning of a world forever changed. When a nuclear bomb detonates, the area of immediate destruction depends on its yield, but even a single modern warhead can cause devastating loss of life over a vast radius. Within a radius of 1 to 2 miles, that means 1.6 to 3.2 kilometers from ground zero, the heat and blast wave incinerate everything, killing nearly everyone instantly. People caught within 3 to 5 miles, what means 5 to 8 kilometers, face lethal burns, collapsing buildings, and flying debris, with survival becoming a rare exception. Beyond this, up to 10 miles, what is 16 kilometers away, severe injuries from heat and shattered structures are widespread, and fires rapidly consume neighborhoods. For those just outside the blast zone, the initial impact may not be fatal, but exposure to radiation and the cascading destruction leaves few unscathed. The day after, The next day, an eerie silence hangs over the ruins where bustling cities once stood. The air is thick with the acrid smell of smoke and decay, and the sun is dimmed by a haze of soot that blankets the sky, casting everything in a sickly twilight. Survivors stumble through the rubble, many injured, disoriented and desperate for water, food or shelter. Fires still burn in the distance, sending more ash into the atmosphere. The land is unrecognizable, a desolate wasteland of scorched earth and twisted metal. For those who survive the initial blast, a new horror begins. The creeping effects of radiation sickness, the collapse of communication and infrastructure, and the terrifying realization that help may never come. This is the grim dawn of a world on the brink of collapse. A nuclear war would forever alter the course of human history, splitting time into before and after. In the worst-case scenario, massive firestorms could engulf tens of thousands of square kilometers, killing hundreds of millions within hours. But this is just the beginning. A nuclear war could trigger a nuclear winter, potentially leading to billions of deaths and the complete collapse of civilization. How does this happen, and what would it look like? First of all, the fire creates a winter. When a nuclear weapon detonates, it creates a bubble of gas hotter than the sun, instantly igniting everything within kilometers. This terror bubble expands rapidly, unleashing a devastating shockwave that destroys everything in its path. The intense heat often sparks firestorms, consuming entire cities and leaving nothing but ash. The iconic mushroom cloud rises above the destruction, but the deadliest impact forms in the hours after. Fires from burning cities, forests, and fields generate intense heat, creating a self-sustaining weather system. 
This system pulls smoke and soot high into the atmosphere, forming massive pyrocumulonimbus clouds. Unlike ordinary smoke, which rain quickly washes away, these clouds rise into the stratosphere, where there is no weather to clear them. In a full-scale nuclear war, hundreds of firestorms could pump as much as 150 million tons of soot, enough to fill a skyscraper-sized cube, into the stratosphere. Within weeks, this soot would spread globally, blocking sunlight and plunging the Earth into a nuclear winter. The effects of nuclear winter would be catastrophic for global agriculture. Even a slight reduction in sunlight can disrupt ecosystems. But a nuclear winter would drastically cool the planet. Seasons would shift. Winters would grow longer, summers shorter or disappear altogether. Reduced evaporation would cause widespread drought. And the world's breadbaskets, regions like the Great Plains in the US and Ukraine, would become barren. Humanity depends on a few efficient crops grown in temperate regions. With temperatures dropping below freezing for years, these crops would fail. Global food supplies, already limited, would collapse. Most nations maintain only a few weeks' worth of food reserves. Without a way to grow or import food, starvation would begin almost immediately. Modern agriculture relies on complex supply chains for fertilizer, machinery and fuel. In a post-nuclear world, these systems would cease to function, further crippling food production. The result? Billions of people would face starvation within a few years. Now let's take a look at the scenarios of nuclear war. The risk of nuclear war, though still low, has become a growing concern due to escalating tensions in several global hotspots. Experts generally estimate the annual likelihood of a nuclear conflict between major powers, such as the US and Russia, at around 1 to 2 percent, though this figure varies based on geopolitical developments. For a regional conflict, such as between India and Pakistan, the risk may be higher due to ongoing disputes over Kashmir and their history of military confrontations. The probability increases with miscalculations, accidents or escalations from conventional warfare. The ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine has heightened fears of nuclear escalation. Russia's rhetoric and veiled threats to use tactical nuclear weapons have alarmed the international community, especially as the conflict remains unresolved. While the use of nuclear weapons in Ukraine is considered unlikely, the situation has brought the fragility of deterrence into sharp focus. Prolonged conflict could further destabilize global security, increasing the chance of broader miscalculations involving NATO or other nuclear powers. The need for robust diplomacy, clear communication and de-escalation strategies has never been more critical to prevent these grim scenarios from becoming reality. Who might survive? While no place would be truly safe, nations in the Southern Hemisphere, like Australia, New Zealand and Argentina, might endure better. These countries are far from nuclear targets, would experience milder nuclear winters and have large livestock populations less dependent on crops. However, even these nations could face invasions from desperate, starving countries or collapse under internal strain. When the nuclear winter ends, the world will be unrecognizable. Survivors may rebuild civilization, but they will do so amidst ruins and scars. Would they rebuild nuclear weapons too? The only way to prevent this grim future is to ensure nuclear war never happens. This requires investment in disarmament, education and diplomacy. Support organizations working to reduce the risks, or educate yourself to become part of the solution. Together, we can ensure that nuclear war remains a possibility we never realize. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on more intriguing questions like this one.